Hi there boys and girls. I hope you're having a good day. I'm reading to you from outside. I'm at Mr. Bashan's office today and it looks like it stayed cloudy today after all. The sun did not end up peeking out but it's still a really nice day. I can still hear birds chirping and I'm enjoying this fresh air. Well I have a little book for you. This one is called Little Bunny's Easter Surprise and it's by Jean Medesit and the illustrations are by Robin Spowart. So what do we see on the cover of this one? There's little bunny and she's decorating some eggs. All righty, let's see what happens. One Easter morning, little bunny woke up feeling especially happy she had an Easter basket to look forward to. And this year, she was going to give Mama, Papa, and baby brother surprises of their own. So there she is getting up out of bed. You can see her with her little blankies looking out the window. It looks like you can see some of her tree in her yard. Little Bunny hopped out of bed. She went over to Baby Brother's bed and gave the sleepy bunny a kiss. Then she washed her face, brushed her ears, and got dressed. She had just finished when Mama and Papa showed up at her door. Happy Easter, they said smiling. Happy Easter, answered Little Bunny with a smile all her own. <gasps> Papa's eyes twinkled. You know, I have a feeling that somewhere downstairs there are two Easter baskets for two very special bunnies. Anybody interested in finding them? Little Bunny cried, I am. Me too, said baby brother, and the family went downstairs. Little bunny and baby brother found their baskets in mama's sewing basket. Little bunny's basket was pink, filled with chocolate eggs, and baby brother's was yellow, filled with jelly beans. Little Bunny and Baby Brother hugged their parents and said, Thank you. Mama smiled. We're glad you like them. Look what a sweet family. They love each other so much. So many hugs. Now it was Little Bunny's turn to have twinkling eyes. And now she said, you have to find your Easter baskets. Mama and Papa's eyes opened wide. Our Easter baskets, said Papa. Little Bunny grinned. That's right, she said. I hid Easter baskets for everybody. Baby brother clapped and the grown-ups laughed. What fun, said Mama. Let's get started. And they did just that. The trouble was, Little Bunny had hidden her family's Easter baskets so well, nobody could find them. So where are they looking? We see Little Bunny watching. Baby Brother's looking under the chair. Mama's looking in the trunk. And Papa's looking behind the chair. It was time for a clue, <laughs> said Little Bunny. Her parents, who were searching behind the couch, looked up. Sometimes, said Little Bunny, Easter baskets are hidden outside the house. <gasps> of course, said Papa, and the family marched outside. They looked everywhere along the ground, but still no Easter baskets. So where, what's happening in this picture? 
Little, little bunny's still watching. Mama's looking behind the flowers. Papa's looking by the little wheelbarrow. And baby brother's looking in the bucket. No luck. Another clue was definitely needed. The little bunny said, Sometimes Easter baskets are hidden above the ground. Mm. Of course, said Papa. And they began looking on top of the bushes. Then baby brother said, pretty, pretty, and pointed at the pink blossoms on the backyard tree. The tree, said Mama. And sure enough, there were three Easter baskets tucked in the branches of the tree. Little Bunny jumped up and down. You found them, you found them, she said. Look how excited she is that her family found the baskets. Mama pulled down the baskets, which were filled with eggs that Little Bunny had decorated herself. Ooh, said baby brother. Thank you, little bunny, said her parents. Your presents are beautiful. You're welcome, said little bunny. I'm just glad you found them. Mom and Papa laughed and baby brother giggled. It was a wonderful Easter. Took another family hug. Later that night, as little bunny crawled into bed, she thought, I can hardly wait until next Easter when I can surprise everyone again. She lay down on her pillow and felt something hard. She lifted her pillow. There underneath was one of baby brother's dolls holding some of baby brother's jelly beans. Little bunny looked over a baby brother's bed and baby brother looked back his eyes twinkling. Isn't that sweet? So he shared with her too. Aww. Did you notice at different parts of the story that different characters had twinkling eyes? So who did we notice first with twinkling eyes? Papa had twinkling eyes when he told the children it was time to go look for their baskets. And then who was next? Little Bunny. She was next. She had twinkling eyes when she told her mom and dad and her baby brother to go look for a basket from her. And then who was the last person with twinkling eyes? That's right, baby brother. Baby brother had twinkling eyes after little bunny found the, the present from him under her pillow. They all had twinkling eyes when they got to share love with each other. What a sweet story. Well, next week is spring break, so we won't be having our calendar time and story time next week. Um, and then that weekend is Easter, so you'll be having Easter come up. Not this Sunday, but the next Sunday will be Easter at your house too. And then after that, we'll be back and, um, and we'll get to do our calendar and story time again. So I hope you all have a great weekend this weekend, a great spring break week and a wonderful Easter. And I'll miss you guys, but I'll look forward to seeing you back that following week and maybe we'll start talking about springtime. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.